Hey you guys, kind of Saturday. I was going to do something outside, um, but the weather is not the greatest. So anyways, I'm inside and actually it's good in a way because I wanted to go over the concept of the elbow structure and the elbow power. Okay, so it's really important to understand this concept when it comes to using uh, Wing Chun especially, but actually they're important, they're kind of universal. Uh, many arts do it even if they don't necessarily realize it, or focus on it, okay? Um, so, okay, first of all, why is it important? All right, now remember a, a little while back I did a video about the three harmonies, how the hand is joined to the foot, the elbow joined to the hip, uh, uh, the uh, uh, knee, and the shoulder joined to the uh, hip, okay? So when you understand that, um, if, if, if you move, and then you, and then suddenly that elbow's out, like this, they call this fa, fa jing or flying elbow, okay? Well, the structure's gone. You can feel it. You can tr try to move around like this with the elbow down, and you put it out there, and uh, suddenly it's gone, okay? So it's important to understand that structure. Uh, Wing Chun, uh, the, due to the nature of its, you know, its uh, um, close-range personality, close-range nature, it is an elbow-driven art, okay? Because when you're in really really close you're not going to uh turn the fist over okay if, if i if okay that works if, I, if i'm at a, at a distance sure I, I can work okay uh what, what, but, but if i'm if i'm here if i'm here is it, is it th th this is it, it really doesn't work right I mean, if, at this range though then then you you would do the vertical fists okay now also um even at longer range, the vertical fist can still be used, okay? Jack Dempsey uh, used it. Mexican boxers, they use it, the ver ver vertical fist. They, um, they, they sometimes call it the skinny jab. But, you know, the, the idea of using the elbow uh, to, to, to drive that, that uh, punch in is very important. Now, if you can get your hands on Jack Dempsey's book, Championship Fighting, it, it's, it's out of print. I have a copy. But it's out, 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 out of print. It's very rare. But if you can get your hands on it, it's very good. Um, I think there might be some e-copies out there somewhere, okay? Um, but in the book, he refers to the power line. And the power line is, is uh, you, you know, it, it, I, for a guy who never learned Wing Chun, he understands a lot of the concepts. It's pretty amazing, okay? Because these are universal concepts, all right? And that's, that sh shows you... That is true, because a guy who never learned Wing Chun before, uh, who understands the body structure, got it, right? And, and his vertical punches were very powerful. He took out uh, big uh, Jess, Jess Willard by using these big ver vertical punches. So, it does work, okay? Don't ever let anyone tell you that it doesn't have power. It certainly does. Bruce Lee used it. Jack Dempsey used it. Uh, a, lot, a lot of guys have used it, okay? Um, so, the thing with that is that when you punch... Here, here's the thing, the elbow drives it, and the best way to think about it, the best way to practice it, is to imagine your fist is here, okay? And so when you're punching, and you're tr you're actually, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, if, if I'm thinking about my, my fist where it is, I, there, you tend to lean forward too much, and that's a problem, right? But if I, if, if I focus on the, on the elbow, and imagine my fist is there, and I try to hit somebody with my elbow, Bang, bang, bang. I mean, I'm really hitting with a fist, but I'm driving the elbow forward. Bang, bang, bang. Then I keep my my uh, um, I keep my body structure. Okay, I'm able to get take advantage of, of that power, the, the the elbow, the elbow energy, the elbow power. Okay, and even for defense as well, because you come in and when when the elbow's down like that, and someone tries to come in low, you're able to kind of jam them a bit. Okay, I mean, it's not. Obviously, I'm not saying you don't need to understand takedown defense and wrestling and things like that, okay? But to some degree, it, it can help uh, defend, okay? And, uh, you know, the old uh, Irish bare knuckle boxers and British bare knuckle boxers, they would punch with vertical fists too, all right? And one thing, one, one of the reasons why is because in the old days, before the, the uh, current rules, the Mar Marquis of uh, Queensbury rules came in, they were allowed to use knees, and they were allowed to do
do stand up grappling and, and and things like that. You know, they like there were many things that were allowed. So when you see the guys fighting like, like, like this and people wonder why they were do doing that, that's why because they could allow for other kinds of attacks, defense for other kinds of attacks. Okay, so you know, like I said before, right? Don't don't ever look at an art and you don't understand it and automatically criticize it. Okay, you need to understand the context of how they're using it. Okay. You know, modern boxing changed, uh, the, the uh, rules changed, and so the, therefore other tactics uh, made more sense, okay? Uh, when, when environments change, when rules change and things, that's when things come into play, okay? Look at the uh, Lethwe, okay? It's the uh, Bur Burmese uh, martial art, okay? They allow headbutts in that art, okay? They actually allow head headbutts. It's, it's, it's br brutal, it's nasty, okay? And also... It's not scored on points. It's scored on knockout. All right. They don't. They, they don't care about points. So if you look at like a, a, a regular uh, kickboxing match, right? People will often do do uh, you know higher risk kicks and things like that because you get more points for those. They're more spectacular. But if you don't care about points, then you're not going to see those. And in a lethway fight, you never see those. Okay. You see a lot of. Uh, a lot of a lot of punches, a lot of knees, a lot of elbows, head busts. That's what you see because that they only care about the knockout. They're not concerned about uh, looking flashy. You know, you'll see leg kicks, low kicks, but that's what you can see, right? Okay. So, anyways, that aside, let's get back to the uh, elbow structure, the elbow energy, and how to develop it. Now, now, now you understand the importance of it. Now, how to develop it? All right. So, when when you call this the heavy elbow, so like I said before. You want to make sure that elbow is driving your elbow. You want your fist to be here so that elbow is driving you. When you're stepping, the elbow, the elbow is kind of pulling you along, okay? That energy, like bang, it just drives you in there, okay? Boom, okay? So, a couple of things that we can do here. I found the resistance bands to be very useful for this, okay? Now, this is a long band. I kind of have to wrap it around my, my, myself twice here. Okay, it's, it's a long one. But it works well, okay? All right. Now there there are three major uh, well well two major things. One is with equipment, and one is the first section of the ceiling tile. Okay, and I'll go over that in a second. All right. But in order to uh, feel that, what you want to do here is you want to just get into our stance here. I went over the Yiji Kyungyu map map before, so I'm not I'm not going to go over that right now. Many 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 times actually, and rub that elbow. What you want to do is you want to really focus on this outer edge of your forearm here. And get that in your center. You really want to focus on that. Like I'm gonna set right here. Okay. And because you're feeling the resistance band, your your elbow is kind of forced to stay in center. Like you're focusing on that outer edge of your forearm and focusing on getting in there. Then what happens and the band it just kinda of keeps you it, it just kinda of, kinda of keep, keeps you in, in line there. Okay, just go in and out, just keep going in and out, okay? You can do 10 reps on one arm, 10 reps on the other arm, or you can alternate, you can do, do that too, you can go one, two, you can do, do that too, okay? So the, the, the beauty of the cable is that if, if my elbow's out, oh that sucks, you know, I feel it right, right away, it's, it's gone, it's gone, okay? <laughs> so, so the only way you'll, you know, it forces you to feel that elbow, the elbow is driving you out. Okay, so this is a kind of thing where you can just, you have to get lots of reps, lots and lots of reps. There's no shortcut, there are no secrets in martial arts, there's no magic technique that's going to let you win all these fights and things like that, okay, that's just movie no nonsense, okay, there's, there's no such thing. You need to work on the basics and drill them to death, that's the only way you're going to get good at this stuff, okay, there, are, there is no secret, okay, it's hard work repetition and doing boring ass basics until you're sick of it okay that's the only way all right sorry if you don't like the, the sound of that but that's the truth okay <laughs> so you know what a good way is to actually do that put on a, a tv show or a movie and do it during the show so that way you're watching the show but you are drilling this into your muscle memory okay now of course when, when i was taught uh my Sifu told me not to do that, to, to just focus on what you're doing, okay, he, um, you know, but 
you know, in, in uh, a, a, a practical world, I found that watching a show and doing this stuff, it helps because uh, you're going to, you know, because if you're just fo focusing on it, you tend to get tense and, you know, uh, uh, some sometimes uh, that can work against you. But if you're watching a show, you're kind of relaxed and, you know, you're, 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 you're watching what's going on. Your conscious mind is watching what's going on on the show, on the, on the uh, TV there. And then your subconscious mind is drilling the stuff into your muscle memory. See, so just in and out. Like, you know, the cable goes in and out, okay? There we go, okay? Okay. Now, I found the cable better than having weights because now, um, one other traditional way of doing it is by, by using rings, okay? The, uh, the, these are, um, Called the buff butterfly ring. Well, this this one actually actually jo joined together because I got it from a guy named uh, Stefan Corum. Uh, okay, and it's actually not a bad piece of equipment, but I don't know where you can get these now because I got this from him probably about thirteen or fourteen years ago, and as far as I can tell, he's out of business. So uh, I might have one of the only pairs left. Okay, but and and anyways, <laughs> but. Uh, you, you, you can buy Shaolin rings like, like this in like martial arts stores and things too, okay? And here you're making your wrist heavy, and I'm just going in and out of that, okay? Okay? Same, same, same thing, same, same idea as that. The only problem is that this has a downward energy. So, you know, you, you're training the heavy elbow, but you're, you're, you have to exert quite a bit of uh, force to lift up. Whereas with the cable... I like the cable better, actually, because the cable is forward, and you're always wanting to go forward. You're not trying to go up so much. You're going forward. You're driving forward, okay? All right, and now for the uh, section in seal and towel. It's the same idea, all right? But um, there's there's a few more things added to it, okay? So the first section of seal and towel, okay, what we're going to do here is going to take that elbow, same thing. We're going to rub that inside elbow along your forearm, and try and focus on this outside, uh, not elbow, forearm, <laughs> inside edge of your forearm, not your elbow, inside edge of your forearm, okay, is rubbing along your, your root and you're focusing on the outside edge of your forearm, driving that along, okay, focusing on the outside edge. So, so this is very meditative, okay, you're driving it out there, focusing on the outside edge, so therefore it's in your center, okay. I might be on a funny angle. I'm gonna try and try and square up here a little bit. Okay, there we go. So that outside edge should be in the center. Now I do a hyun sao, and then when I come back, what's happening is even though I'm going backwards, I'm thinking forward. It's like I'm, like, uh, it's like I'm I'm a, a force has pushed me back, but I'm thinking forward. Right, right. So if, if that goes, I just go forward, see? If this pressure pushing it back goes, I just go forward, all right? So, I start here, that arm comes out, focusing on that outside edge of the forearm, I do my hyun sao, thinking forward as I'm being pushed back, and then when I come out of this part, this is a fuk sao, what's happening here is I'm sh I shut off my hand now, I shut it off. And now I'm really focusing on my elbow. This is the elbow structure pushing me out. See? Same thing. Thinking forward as I'm going backwards. Elbow structure pushing me out. Okay. <laughs> elbow structure. Okay. That's the thing. So the way you do it is that the first time it comes out, I'll, I'll, I'll go fast so, to get, so you can see it, okay? But you can go slow. Going slow is better, okay? But I'll just go a little faster just so you see what's going on, okay? So I'll bring up the first time, focusing on that outer edge of the forearm. Hyun sao, and there's a little, this is called a jut sao. Here's a little, uh, boom, right? Jut, okay? Then, I do this movement three times. But keep in mind though, three is associated with affinity in Chinese uh, culture, and martial arts. So anything that's done three times means you can, it's really important and you can do it a hundred times if you want to, okay? A thousand times if you want to, okay? <laughs> Alright, so that, that was number two, okay? 
and do it again number three and okay now what once again I you know I go back going forward as I'm going back right thinking forward as I'm going back the intent is there right like a faucet right forward here elbow pushing me out here I want to come back what happens is I will do a parry to the side go back to the center and palm strike hand up shun sao and back okay and that section of Silent Tao, you know, in, once again, okay, boring basics repeated over and over and over again until you're sick of them, okay? If you do that consistently, every day, and really focus on those, those energies, like I said before, right? You're focusing on the outer edge of the forearm, come back, thinking forward as you're being pushed back, right? Elbow pushing you out, you, you know, if, if you really internalize that, you will have good structure and you will have good Wing Chun, okay? I'm telling you, okay, a lot of people just want to get to all the, the, the good stuff in Wing Chun and will skip over all that. They'll, 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 they want to go, oh, I, I, I want to use the, you know, I want to do the wooden dummy form, I want to do all the stuff like that, okay? I'm going to tell you, okay, I've seen people who got advanced very quickly. They know all the forms, all right? They suck ass. They are shit, okay? Because they don't have that good elbow structure and elbow energy, and they, and they, they don't know how to really get the most out of that first section of the, the seal and tile form, okay? If you don't develop elbow structure, elbow energy, and really understand that, you can do it for 10 years and you will still suck, all right? This is the most important part, okay? All the really good concepts of Wing Chun are found in that first form of Silent Tao. Okay, there are many people who only learn Silent Tao, but they did all the drills and and and, and then they they, uh, they they learned all the strikes and they and they sparred and did all kinds of things and they're damn good fighters, all right? Other guys know the whole system, know all the stuff and they 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 do all the all the all that knife flipping shit you see and they do all the stuff and and they suck. They suck ass. They get their ass kicked in 10 seconds, okay? So so that, that that's the thing to remember, okay? The elbow structure is and, and that and that body structure and the three harmonies is so important if you want to really understand this stuff, okay? Alright, I'm gonna do a quick review one more time, okay? Okay, first of all we, we have the the well I'm, I'm not gonna put them on, but I had those those bands where I went right forward to develop that elbow structure, the elbow energy going forward, okay? I mentioned before the rings, but I don't really like them as much. I think that the bands are better, okay? And then we have the first section of Silent Tao, okay? So going forward, focusing on that outer edge of the forearm. Coming back, now focusing on this part, going forward as I'm being pushed back. Elbow structure pushing me out. Elbow structure pushing it out. Okay, the elbow, 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 elbow. And then back again, and then focusing on the Focusing on forward energy as I'm being pushed back again. Okay, speed up here just to get through it. Okay, okay, and then a third time again the elbow structure. Here, 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 here. Parry back to center and palm and back. Okay, and uh, yeah, there, there you go. The these are the exercises you use to develop the elbow structure. Okay, and of course you know. You know, uh, work on, on on your punches and things like that. But I'm telling you, working, on, uh, getting the uh, good power and speed in those ver vertical punches is dependent upon your elbow structure. Okay, doing the vertical punch only works if you have good elbow structure. All right, if you don't, that elbow's flying out here. It, it doesn't do anything. All right, you know, you, you know, you you might as well just just be swinging like like an idiot. Okay, you're not going to have any structure there. Okay. You want to actually make this work for you, you need to have that, that, that elbow structure, and then you have a good punch, all right? If all you do is just, just do the, the, these, these like, like, like really, really, really fast punches and you have no elbow structure, it, it's, it's completely useless, completely worthless, no power, no structure whatsoever, okay? And, um, there, and there, there you go, you know, I, I personally think that this is one of the uh, true, you know, crowning jewels of uh, the Wing Chun system, is is uh, developing the elbow structure in this way and having that forward intent, okay? 
and and uh, developing that that, that four ten that aggression. Okay, that's the only way this will work. Okay, don't worry about the guys who look all fancy and can do all the forms and 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 they get you know medals for having their beautiful forms and this and that. Okay, it doesn't matter with el elbow structure. Okay, you know I I I mean I see you guys doing these forms and and. Uh, to the untrained eye, yeah, look, it looks pretty amazing. Okay, I mean they they, they, they move real fast and 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 they, they have a music going and and you know it's, it's pretty impressive. But I don't really give a shit about any of that stuff. Okay, I'm looking at their feet, I'm looking at their body structure, how they move, how rooted they are. I'm looking at their elbows. Okay, and sometimes they're good, and sometimes they're bad. Okay, and more often than not, they're pretty bad. All right. Uh, so that's the thing. Okay, remember, basics, basics, basics until you're sick of them. That's the way. All right. If you have any questions uh, about any of this stuff, need clarification, let me know, and see you soon.